So one of the best ways to get started as a beginner to sell digital products online is to create digital invitations. So in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how to create these things from scratch and how to sell these as a Canva template on Etsy. I'm going to share that all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. If you are new here, my name is Jay, and on this channel, I do everything from how-to videos and step-by-step -step guides, teaching you exactly how to create and sell your own digital products online. So if you like content like this, consider subscribing to my channel. And at any time in today's video you are getting value, make sure you guys hit that like button because that helps this channel out a lot. Now let's jump into the video. All right, so one thing I want to stress before we get started is that, you know, I think it's important to just have a template to work from. And so I have created a different type of templates you can use. And what I learned in regards to creating uh, digital invites is that most of them have some critical things. First of all, they have a welcome or kind of hinting to the purpose of gathering. It might be somebody's birthday. It might be the child's name up top, but they always have the date, the time, and the RSVP or the location of the event at the bottom. And so our goal today is to use this template, but what we're gonna get from this template is this design. So I'm gonna show you how you can actually put all of these things together and create your own digital invite and how you can make multiples just like this in one occasion. So let me share that with you now. All right, so as we are in Canva, uh, the first thing you wanna do is that you wanna make sure you get the proper size for your design. Today we're going to be making a digital invite and so we want to find a five by seven inch portrait or invitation template that we're going to use today. So you can go ahead and look for the print products up in the top here and then you just want to go and find the invitation portrait and we know this is the right size because it says five by seven. So go ahead and click that one of the templates I use for this design. I'm just going to log it in here. So if you want to get these templates, I want you to check out the link down below, because again, our goal today is not to work from scratch, but to add to what's already here. So the first thing that I want to do is that I want to go and I want to think about what type of theme I want to create. Well, right now it's the summertime and summer birthday parties are a hit right now. So I want to create a theme around the summertime and kind of like the beach theme. And so again, I'm going to use some uh, pro elements, but again, the things that I'm doing today, you can actually use with the free elements. So you can go to sites like Ping Tree or freepng.com and you can actually get different elements you can plug into Canva. So I already have some major things keyed up that I'm going to use. Again, you can search all these in Canva or you can go and find these on different websites. But at the end of the day, you want your themes to all match up. And so the first thing that I would like to do is I'd like to put something in the corner, right? Usually if it's for somebody's birthday, I want to have like a little banner like this in the corner. So again, what's really going to make this process faster because all that information is already down here for someone to edit. So I just want to add in some elements here. And if you see, like it's already come together, right? It's not a lot of work to create these digital invite tools. Now, one thing I'm going to do here is that because I don't want this tree to be all the way down here, because guess what? That's getting in the way of my invite information. I do want to go back up in here and I do want to rotate this design. Now, the way I rotate it, is this little button right here and I can rotate it to the right or to the left, but I don't want the bottom to be shown. I just want the palm trees to be shown. So if I just put it over here like this, you can already see that it's really coming together. So you want to make sure you are working with a theme. And today my theme is a summer birthday at the beach. And again, you really want to create things from your original design. Again, you don't want to copy anybody's designs. You don't want to copy anybody's stuff. But you definitely want to make sure that you are doing your product research to make sure that what you are designing is what people are looking for. There are several bestsellers of birthday invites uh, for little kids and they have a beach theme. And so we want to add value to the market by creating our own design. And so what I typically do is I try to find a centerpiece to my invite, right? My centerpiece can be this castle or my centerpiece uh, can be a crab. But at the end of the day, what sells well from my experience is just having a center theme. So I want to use this sandcastle as my center theme. 
and again i am using the pro account but again you can use different elements from different places but at the end of the day i do want to guide you through my process of how i'm able to create these digital invites now one thing that i know that will really add value to this card is to make sure that i'm not leaving any like blank spaces in the corners right so i filled my corner up with something here i got something on the side i'm kind of making my own border here but what i want to do is i want to add some elements to the bottom so i can add some shells on the bottom and again just get creative right you don't have to you know be too uh strategic with your designs but you just want to be creative and make sure you're not leaving any blank spots so one thing that i did here i wanted to put another uh, shell selection on this side so i used a, the quick tool Control c and Control v and that allows me to copy and paste you can also go in here and right click and hit copy and go over to open space right click and hit paste and it does the same thing and so what i typically do that if i am um, having a copy and paste element on the on the same digital invite that i don't want it to be lined up the same way i do want to have it be different so a great way to make it different is by going up to the flip tool and just flipping it flipping it so you can get a different type of theme all right so we have some things at the bottom what i also want to do maybe have a little sand mount at the bottom to see how that works and again all this stuff is just playing with it having some creative design and just testing to see what works and again i think this is going to add a real cool look to our sand castle theme again that's already looking pretty good all right so let's keep going here what else can we add um how about we add some more shells and that's the theme that we have right now And again, one of the things I try to do is I just try to make sure that I'm not leaving any, you know, white spaces in regards to the corners. But again, I don't want to be too clutter also. So I kind of have them halfway in the picture because what my focus is right now is actually the sandcastle. We can make this bigger also. Now, one thing we are missing in regards to this digital invite and rotate this up to the top you see it's already coming together one thing we are missing in regards to our digital invite is what's the occasion right who is it for so i like to work with what i already have so if i already have this set of fonts that i'm using i don't want to add something that's not a part of the family of fonts that we have so one of the things i want to do is i want to grab this top portion here and add something up top so what i'm going to do i'm going to ungroup because these are grouped together i'm going to ungroup this because i just want to copy and paste this and have this up top to work with so again just like we did with these shells i'm going to copy and paste for me i'm just going to hit Control c Control v again that gives me the copy and paste but you can also right click hit copy go to open space right click and hit paste and so what i found to work well is to talk about you know what is the the occasion for so if it's a child's birthday then i want to say a child is turning a certain age right so let's put in our child's name. All right, so Sharon is turning. And again, one great thing to put on here is the child's birthday. So let's say Sharon is turning three. And again, I wanna make this large. And the way I can make it large is by taking the edge. See how we have four circles on each corner. If I wanna make that bigger, I can go into the font size and make it larger here. But what I found to be very easy when I'm working with these templates is just to grab the edge here and just stretch it out and make it large. And because the child's age is center of attention here, make sure everything is lined up straight. Okay. And again, again, this is just how you create a digital invite. And so that's really all it takes. And again, one of the things I do to make sure that I'm able to create multiple things as I'm already sitting here, I duplicate my image and guess what i want to redesign or recreate what i already have so if i say you know this might be too cluttered too crazy let me delete this stuff right and let's just say i don't want a shell theme right but guess what i added the elements sharon is turning three and i have all these things here what can i do to add to this well, let me go in and create a different theme right i can create a surfboard theme so again what i want to do is make sure i don't have borders that are open so i can grab my tool here Again, I'm going to copy and paste. Again, you can hit Control-C and Control-V. I'm 
All right. So again, we want to make sure those things are lined up well. But again, if you see, we already have a different theme in regards to our digital invite. And so again, we can just keep on adding to this. Again, I can add this here in the middle. Okay, make sure that's in the frame. And uh, maybe instead of having a tree on the side, maybe we want to have a crab on the side. And again, I know I'm using pro elements, but again, I'm just teaching you exactly how to create these. Again, these don't take a lot of time for you to create, right? Doesn't take a lot of time at all. So when you are able to see what works, you're able to duplicate that, duplicate that, duplicate that, and then you're able to move faster in regards to you creating and selling online. So again, now we just duplicated our image and now we have a whole new product to sell. So let's keep going from here. Let's say if I don't want a, a, a summer theme or a beach theme, say if I don't want that, well, guess what? One of the easiest things to do in regards to selling digital invites online is that the information you need is already here, right? Most of what people need in regards to what time, where it is, you know, who's the person to, to speak to, who's the birthday for, all this stuff would never change, right? And so say if I don't want to have a, a summertime birthday theme, maybe I want to have a child's elephant theme. Again, you always want to have something at the center of attention. For our case today, let it be baby elephant, right? If I want to change the, the child's birthday, let's say the child's turning six. Again, get that in frame. Again, I believe that having things in the corner is always helpful. So let's add some butterflies in the corner. And again, instead of us having it in the corner, how about we have it at the top? So bring this down a little bit and we're gonna grab this. And again, I'm just rotating the tool. And again, you wanna have something in the corners. If you're not gonna have something in the corners, then you wanna kind of create your own border and have things at the top. Again, a great way to make sure things are different. Again, if I just copy and paste that, I wanna make sure it looks different. How do I do that? I go to the flip tool, I flip it around, have a different you know thing going. I just, I just wanna make sure that it's different. All right, so what I did to the top, I'm gonna to do to the bottom. Now, one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna group these two because I'm gonna bring those down to the bottom so that my border I have up top can also be my border I have at the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm gonna hold shift and tap the other one, and then I'm gonna hit group. Again, you can do this just by kind of highlighting both, hitting group, but once you group them together, now it's one single element. And so again, I wanna have this at the bottom, so I'm gonna copy, paste, and if you notice, both of those are now attached to each other, and I can have it at the bottom for my theme. Okay, so we wanna make sure this is lined up the right way. So again, I want to rotate it. And again, if you can see, we came from a summer birthday invite now into something that's entirely different but again the information that we use is all there again we didn't have to create from scratch when you get into your design you want to sit here and say how can i make this better how can i make this different how can i duplicate this and even with this one we can duplicate this and again have a different center of attention maybe our theme is not a uh, elephant maybe it's going to be a giraffe this time and let's just say if we don't want the name on the side, maybe we want the name to be right on top of the giraffe. Again, make sure that everything is lined up the proper way. Again, we can change the number if we want to. Sharon is turning two. And again, we have a whole new digital invite just like that. So again, we can keep on creating these. Again, if you say, hey, I don't want to have this butterfly theme, Guess what, my friend? Duplicate this again. Again, do not work from scratch, right? You wanna work from what you already have. Say for instance, we don't want the butterfly theme, but we want these to come back. And again, we wanna go with our theme of having it in the corner. And we have it right here and just say, and we just wanna keep it simple. Again, Control V, I'm just copying and pasting. Let's say I wanna have it down here. And let's just say we, if, if we want this in all the corners, again, you want to make sure that you're not leaving any corner untouched. You wanna make sure you're creating a good overall theme and a good overall experience for your customer. And again, sometimes the less the better, but you wanna be strategic in where you put your items. Again, we can add to this some balloons if you want. And again, I know 
I am using um, a lot of paid stuff, but again, at the end of the day, once you find um, elements you want to use, again, you can use Ping Tree. Again, you can use all type of different designs. Then you really can just add to the bottom portion. Again, that's never going to change, but again, this makes the process a whole lot faster. So for one little thing I want to do before I close out, I want to have this balloon kind of be tagged on to the giraffe. I think that's kind of cool, right? But if you notice, as I zoom in, if you notice that the balloon is going on top of my giraffe, but I want it to go behind my giraffe. So the way I make sure that this balloon go behind my giraffe is I click on the image. I want to position this and I want to send this all the way to the back and boom, now it's behind my giraffe. Again, this is a great way to create designs. Again, we already created five in the midst of our time working together. So again, this is a great way to create multiple listings in one occasion. Again, you don't want to work from scratch, but you want to work from a place that can give you inspiration. And sometimes when you find what already works, you can recreate your own design and then you can begin to list multiple products in one day. And the more you sell in a popular niche, in a low competitive niche, the more sales you are able to make, right? The more you are able to create, the more sales you are able to make. So one thing before we end today, say if you already got this created and now you want to sell this in Canva as a template, you want to make sure you are sharing this in the right way and not in the wrong way. And what I mean by that is if you go to this three button tool here, you might see a little button that says share. There you go. You might see a little button that says share link. This is what you don't want to do, right? This link, if you share it this way, everyone will have access to the original copy. And once they make changes on their end, it's going to change up everyone's copy they bought from you. So this is not the share link you want to give to your potential buyers, right? The link that you do want to give is the template link. And the way you get this template link, you go up to the share button, you go down and hit this little arrow and you want to share a link to use as a template. So again, this is a great way to sell items just like this in Etsy. You want to send this off with a link so they can use it as a template and not use it as a link to create on the original design. Again, if you send this link to people, then that one person who got this link is going to change the design for everybody. So you want to make sure you are going to the share button, go to the bottom and share a link to be used as a template. Once you click this, it's going to say copy link and then you send that link off to your customers. So I hope this was helpful to you. This is a great way to create multiple designs and get multiple things listed in your Etsy store. Next video, I'm going to share with you how to actually mock these so that it can look compelling when you list these in Etsy. So that is the end of today's video, my friends. If that was in any way helpful or encouraging, make sure you guys leave a like on today's video. And if you want to see more content like this, I release new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. And oftentimes I go live on Saturdays showing you exactly how to create and sell your own digital products online. So as always, my friends, if you like content like this, consider subscribing to my channel. But as always, I will see you in the next video.